Hello and welcome to our video series on digital teaching tools. In this video, we'll be focusing on the most used search engine and all its useful and interesting features. That is Google. Google takes first place in search engines. According to the research of Start Counter, around 92% of research are happening on Google demanding in the market. Google offers easy to use interface to the users. That is why it's the most popular search engine. And according to the calculation of Alexa, Google is ranking at the top and secured first rank all over the world and in the United States as well. Why Google is in demand or popular? because of its simplicity and easy interface. It can be easily learned to use. Pros. Google provides quality search and provides the best results to its users. It offers a simple and easy to use interface. Google regularly updates its algorithms to provide the best services to the users. It is available in about 109 languages, so it's the most accessible all over the world. Cons. It provides too many results back or returns too many web pages to the user in which the best information is difficult to find. It delivers the information with several advertisements. It used cookies that store user data. In this tutorial, we will know the main parts of the Google Internet search engine. Google is a search engine that allows us to access all the information that is available on the Internet. Simply to find any content, we are going to write the word or content that we want to search for in the search bar. I mean this place. So we can say, for example, once we write uh, we, what we want to search for, we will press enter. The results that uh, Google offers us can be classified according to the type of results we want to obtain. We can choose between content such as image, videos, news or maps. Or we can leave the all options selected and see a combination of different results. A very interesting resource when using the Google search engine is to be able to open different results at the same time. In a new tab, in this way, without closing the results page, we can open those contents that interest us, simply by right-clicking and selecting Open in a new tab. Another way to open a link between Google results is to use the muse with the curse cursors over the title of the results and if our muse has a wheel click with the wheel on set title this will automatically open set content in a tab i mean this one for instance if we want to carry out a new search in google we can do it by deleting the previous search and writing the new search symbol. By pressing enter, we can see the results. Also, if we click on the Google icon, we will return to the home page and we can also write the search here and access the same content. In this way, we can start using the Google search engine to access all the information we want on the internet. And that's all. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and we look forward to seeing the amazing video content you create for your students.